And now we're going to turn to Ulster County, where travel limits could soon be imposed on county employees. County officials, they're reviewing a policy that would require legislative approval for most travel by employees if the measure is approved. Employers, they would have to work for the county clerk, district attorney, controller, or sheriff, and they'd have to get approval from the county finance department before incurring any travel costs. Well, more unsafe buildings, they are on the chopping block in Kingston. Officials say the demolition of unsafe buildings has been making a positive impact in the city. 11 structures they've been targeting, $100,000 in taxpayer funds, have been used to demolish buildings or properties where the owners have refused to do it themselves. Mayor Shane Gallo says the move, it'll encourage new investments in neighborhoods. And protesters took to the streets today to speak out against cuts relating to the construction of a pipeline that would transport crude oil one way and refined gas and diesel the other. The New Paltz Climate Action Coalition and Protection Our Waters says that the pipeline should not be allowed on a throughway easement. And Allenville residents, they're sounding off tonight about a proposed $14.4 million project to upgrade the elementary school's heating systems and replace the roofs. Voting on the decision, it will take place December 16th. Well, that's all the time that we have for this evening. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow evening at 6 p.m.